Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of August, okay? So this is being recorded in July, and August hasn't happened yet, so keep that in mind. This has not happened yet. So what do we have for Taurus for the month of August? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Intuition. So this is the High Priestess card. You're going to be needing to follow your intuition. You're going to be receiving messages. This is going within, um, keeping to yourself, observing and reflecting, uh, connecting, connecting with the universe, connecting with others um, in a quiet manner. Okay, you may be observing people from afar or even at close distance and just taking it all in. I think this is going, maybe you're honing in on your intuition or you're growing your intuition. Um, this is time alone. Maybe you're going to be needing some time alone to reflect. Perhaps something is going to happen that, you know, where you choose to be alone, you know, because the high priestess often does choose to be alone. Okay. Um, <sighs> this is listening to your gut. You're going to be needing to listen to your gut and listen to your intuition quite a bit this month. You may be realizing your goals. Maybe you're going to be teaching. Maybe you're teaching spirituality or you're, you're somebody's counselor. Or somebody may be seeking you out for advice or something like that. The High Priestess uh, is very um, secretive as well. So you're probably keeping some secrets from others. You know, you're observing, you're reflecting, and you're keeping it to yourself this month. This is choosing to be alone, wanting to be alone, to reflect. So you may be doing that. You may be having some dreams this month. You may be getting some messages in your dreams. So really pay attention to your dreams. Also pay attention to the signs because they're going to be giving you all kinds of signs this month. Don't ignore them. There's no such thing as coincidence. So what do we what do we have for Taurus for the month of August? One more card, please. What do we have for Taurus for the month of August? Ladder. So you're climbing a ladder. You're climbing a ladder to success, Taurus. Arrow, you're on the right path regarding some aspect of your life, so you are on the right path. Ego, this is the one that fell out. Triumph over troubles, obstacles. You will be successful. You're probably going to be presented with some obstacles, you know, but you're going to you're going to be triumphant over whatever those obstacles are. Bread. Ooh. Period of prosperity in abundance, Taurus. So you're climbing the ladder. You are climbing the ladder. It's obviously not very easy. You're on the right path. Maybe you need to do it alone. And the only one that can climb the ladder, can climb your ladder is you. So make sure that you remember that. Um, you are climbing the ladder to, towards success, which is interesting. But it's not going to be easy, okay? It's not going to be easy. Oops. Yeah, see the oops. Yeah, everything. See, remember I said there's no such thing as coincidence. There's going to be some oopses. You're on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. So you are going to be on the right path, but it ain't going to be an easy one. So this might be a kind of a difficult month where it may be. We're going to get some more cards. You're climbing the ladder. You're going to, you're going to need to listen to yourself and listen to yourself only. Okay. Yeah, you can you can let other people give their opinions and whatnot, but you listen to your own intuition. Okay, your intuition is going to guide you in the direction that you need to go. Okay, and you are going to be obtaining some sort of prosperity and abundance this month. So that's really good. For some of you, you may be. This is a healer, a tarot reader, a psychic, a medium, uh, somebody that is very spiritual. Okay, somebody maybe it could be you. 
or it could be somebody that you're dealing with. Um, well, I guess we're going to take that one, huh? Seven of Pentacles Reverse. This is not putting in a lot of effort. Um, unrealistic, dissatisfied, not satisfied with 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 a payout. Not yeah, somebody's not going to be satisfied. But you're climbing the ladder. You are. Maybe you didn't put in put in effort. You didn't put in effort in the past, and now you're putting in more effort. Um, Ooh, Six of Cups reversed. Now the Six of Cups reversed is freedom. It is. It's freedom from the past. It's packing up. It's leaving home. It's uh, therapy of some sort. It's also um, nothing stays the same. All right. This is somebody perhaps being robbed of their innocence. You know, maybe in the past. Maybe when they were a child. There's, I don't know if that's the case, but whatever. That. Uh, this is clinging to the memories of the past, but this is giving up. So you may be giving up on the past, not putting in any energy into the past anymore. Now this is this could be packing up and leaving home. It could be children leaving the home, or somebody else leaving. Nine of Cups reverse. This is definitely not satisfied. I, a wish is going to be granted. But probably not right now. There's something going on here. This is not satisfied. This is dissatisfied. So we have not satisfied. Something. Somebody's not happy. They're not satisfied. Um, wanting more. This is I want more. I'm not, I want more. Somebody wants more. Um, but the Nine of Cups reverse could be, you know, deep fulfillment is coming. Deep fulfillment is coming. You may be, you maybe you've been clinging to the past. You've been clinging to the memories or whatever. So you haven't been putting in any effort into whatever. You haven't been putting in any effort. And, you know, this is not really, um, it's like you want it all, but you haven't been manifesting it. Put it that way. You haven't putting, been putting in any energy into finding it. But the Nine of Cups reverse could be a real love that is coming soon. This could be a deep soul connection if you're single. I mean, singles could be meeting a real love very, very soon. It's not somebody from the past. Okay? Or this could be deepening a bond with somebody. Um, King of Pentacles reversed. Oh my God. So you or whoever you're dealing with is really, really focused on their job. They're focused on their money. They're focused on their business. They're focused on everything but love. So if you're not putting in any effort, if you're not really looking for love and you're, and you know, you're just focused on money and your business, well, yeah, that's probably going to grow. It just, it looks to me like we have somebody here and there could be some sort of neglect, okay, because of the, that six of cups reverse. So I don't know what is going on here, but... Uh, King of Pentacles reversed is somebody that is makes poor financial decisions. Somebody that is lazy, that spends a lot of money, that really focuses on money, is is interested in everything but a relationship. Really, I mean, doesn't put effort into a relationship. Focuses on their income or lack thereof. It could go either way. Um, you could be dealing with a, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, ooh. Ah, so we have the Hierophant Reverse, which represents a Taurus. So this is a, a father figure. So this is a father figure. It doesn't have to be a Taurus. This is somebody that is being controlled by a father figure that is questioning his authority. Okay, this is disgraced, not spiritual. Some somebody is dealing with an individual who has made some poor financial decisions that is not very spiritual. This person is under a lot of social pressure and they are very materialistic. You're dealing with somebody that is very very materialistic. Whoever this person is is can't do the right thing. They don't have the ability to do the right thing because of society. And they may have received some poor counsel. Whoever, you know, poor counsel from somebody. You know, somebody has told them, you know, you need to build up your bank account. You need to do this. You need, it's all about the money. That's poor counsel. It's really not all about, that's not what God wants. Seriously. 
okay so but anyhow um, we also have a relationship that is no longer on the same page could be with a father could be with a father figure or somebody that is in authoritative position whoever this person is the relationship is probably uh, not going in the right direction put it that way now this is being freed from obligation somebody there could be a split here okay there could be a split there could be a could be a breakup somebody's not happy I can see that somebody's not happy um, oh god the ten of swords now this is an ending this is the death of a situation it is and it hurts it hurts really 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 bad and maybe that's why you need to go within because something is ending okay this is like a broken marriage or something like that it could be a I feel like we have a, a major ending here this is this is the death of a situation um, giving up, uh, it's over, it's over, it's over, it's over. This, this, uh, isn't stable. It's not realistic. Uh, it's not working out. Somebody's not doing what they said they were going to do. And so there's going to be a departure. There is going to be a departure. I mean, the, the that is a departure right there. This is uh, somebody moving very, very fast in another direction. As this is act now, think later. It's where somebody takes action. They don't even think about it. They just, this, this is moving very, very fast in another direction. It's like they get this new vision and they just, they just move forward. Somebody, it's all about passion. We have somebody here that is looking for more passion and therefore they're they're moving they're moving very very fast away from the commitment away from the uh dissatisfying situation i feel like this whoever this person is that is going in a different direction is is letting go of the money too they're just like you know i don't want the money i don't want the things you can keep them you know it's it's all about the passion and the desire whoever is moving away has a lot of desires in there it's like they desire passion they desire excitement they are desiring something more adventurous than uh, perhaps what um, you are providing for them or whatever the case maybe it's you that is going in another direction maybe you have decided that you have needs or desires that need to be met and you're giving up you know uh, working so hard maybe you've been working really really hard and you've decided you know what I'm gonna stop working so hard you know whatever the case is the moon, the moon, all is not as it seems. You, there's an unclear and difficult path ahead. Uh, there is some sort of deception here. There is. This is deception. Uh, somebody's not telling the truth. They're hiding something. Somebody is hiding something. You could be dealing with the Pisces. You could be dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is all of a sudden. So all of a sudden, something is going to happen. All is not as it seems. We have somebody here that really, really, really isn't stable. This person isn't stable. Could be a father. I'm not sure if it's a father or somebody that you know has children. Obviously, this person isn't stable. They're not secure. They're under a lot of social pressure. They uh, are really, really not happy with the current circumstances. Something is about to come to a, an end, okay? You probably, it's gonna happen all of a sudden, okay? Sudden ending that you don't see coming. Right now, it's, 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 a, it's about ready to uh, show itself to you below the surface right now it's about ready to be seen so get ready get ready okay it's about ready to you're about to to see okay it could be dealing with a Pisces could be dealing with a cancer we have a crab right here um, get prepared this is get prepared for an arrival something is coming your way that has been below the surface 
somebody is taking a journey they're traveling they're going someplace they're moving they're ready they're ready to go they're ready to focus on the future and leave the past behind they are they are the past is being left behind somebody is is uh it's like it's coming in something is coming in it is it's right there too it's right 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 there you can see you can see the ship it's right in front of you and this is right there too it's just about ready to be seen so something is about to be show show up it could be that remember I said back here that person you've been waiting for if you're single if you are single okay if not then there's dissatisfaction we have we may have a a couple or a marriage where there's some dissatisfaction and that is coming to an end because somebody has made a decision you know based on their desires based on the passion that they want more passion anyhow um this moon is an illusion all is not as it seems and this is about intuition as well you may have been sensing that somebody was coming somebody's coming okay somebody is definitely coming if you've been sensing it um, follow your gut there is some sort of unseen problems here though which there is there is because there's troubles and obstacles and this is unseen problems there's some problems that are going to happen out of the blue, okay, out of the blue, okay. Get prepared to deal with some problems. And it may have to do with children or it may have to do with a father or it could be financial problems. It could be at the work. It could be at your job. Um, ooh, magician reversed. So that's a loss of power loss of resources and it's interesting because I put it right up here period of prosperity and abundance I think that you uh, are going to be abundant but you must be dealing with somebody that is a liar or a thief and it's almost like they they want to steal your money that's what it is too Somebody, so you need to be careful. This is be careful. You definitely need to be careful. Be careful with who you're dealing with. You probably have options here as well. I think you probably do have some options. Um, the magician reversed is a master manipulator. Somebody that is very, 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 very skilled at manipulation. This person, whoever you're dealing with, doesn't have any resources. Okay, and somebody is going to be taking action without thinking both of these cards. So get prepared for that. You're, you may you may get yourself, you know, in a predicament with somebody. Um, mm. Ooh, Queen of Swords reversed. Now the Queen of Swords reversed is an individual that is bitter. She is bitter. She is nasty. She's nasty. She is harsh. She speak. She don't care about feelings uh, at all. It's not about your feelings. It's about uh, getting revenge. So somebody may be wanting re revenge towards you. So you are definitely need to be careful. Could be a mother-in-law. Could be an ex. Could be um, a stepmother could be whoever this person is it's, it's this person is wicked okay very and, and very revengeful so I think that you need to keep you need to be really really careful you got somebody here that may take action without definitely not thinking they may take and it's an act of revenge towards you um, mm. and I think it's it's probably because you're doing so well you're doing well. We got the nine of pentacles. You're, you're enjoying life. You're abundant. You've built yourself up from rock bottom by yourself with no help from anybody. And you got somebody here that is not happy about your success, about you climbing the ladder. So get prepared for a master manipulator to, uh, this is very tricky. They have, you got somebody has some tricks up their sleeve. Okay, they have their tri some tricks up their sleeve. Um, oh my God. Let's get an outcome card. You will be victorious. Thank you. Thank you. 
That's what I wanted to see. You're headed toward what's going to happen with this person? This person that doesn't like you. Ooh, it could have something to do with the law. The law could step in. This is somebody that is in authority. This could be a police officer. This could be a lawyer. This could be a judge um, that knows the facts, that sees, sees right through it. Sees right through this person's uh, reckless behavior. Okay? So, anyhow. I feel as though uh, you're going to need to use your head. You're going to need to remain cool. I feel like um, you're going to receive some challenging information that it might even, you know, um, this might cause you to retreat. It might cause you to leave. You know what I mean? Um, somebody is going to be making a decision. This is acting, taking action. Bad news. Bad news. Oh my God. So, uh, failure to launch. This person's not going to get away with it. They're going to stop this person in their tracks. This per Whoever this person is that you're dealing with that is revengeful is going to be stopped. Okay? They aren't going to, it's going to, it's not going to happen. This person is a liar. They are a liar and they're not going to get away with it. Whoever this person is, whoever you're dealing with is a liar. This person has a self-image problem. They are immature. They are mean-spirited and aggressive and sees themselves as a victim. This person has a victim mentality. This person has nothing good to say, never has had anything good to say. You could be dealing with two people, okay? You could be dealing with two people. There is going to be, this person is going to see right through it. So there is, there is going to be a, a person that sees right through the lies. There's definitely some lies here. Uh, maybe it's you that sees right through the lies. You also have, um, get prepared. Get prepared for somebody that. wants revenge. I'm sorry. This person wants revenge on you. May have something to do with children. They feel disgraced. They're embarrassed. But we're going to go change it the other way now. There's going, remember, we got, a, this is for your whole month, okay? So you've got a lot going on this month. you got somebody who doesn't like you that is probably, this person could just be gossiping about you, you know? They could be saying something. This is a negative Nelly, and they talk back. They talk behind your back, bitch behind your back, okay? Because this is bitching behind your back as well. So you could just be dealing with somebody that, you know, gossips, they hate you, they want to bring you down, you're climbing the ladder, they're jealous, whatever. Okay, so just be prepared for that. Could be somebody that you worked with in the past, or it could be an ex, or a mother-in-law, or somebody, or whatever. There is somebody here that uh, is very childish and immature, and they, they just don't like you. So, whatever. Anyway, but I, I have to tell you that you, you, you probably have somebody coming in as well. This is a union. It's a beautiful union. It's a perfect union. It's something perhaps you've been praying for. You've been waiting for it. Okay, that's coming in as well. That is coming in. Um, if you are in a relationship now and everything is going good, doesn't look like it is. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you. It doesn't. It could come to an end. It looks like this is a broken marriage or a split. It's not compatible, okay? And I think there's somebody else here that you are compatible with. That's what I see. Okay, if you are single, okay, I think that you better get prepared and enjoy your single life now because somebody is going to come in that is your perfect match. My guess is it is an air sign, a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Could be a um, Pisces or a Cancer, um, but I don't know. 
I don't know. Um, and you're pro you're gonna have to make a split uh, spur of the moment de decision, okay? This month in August, get prepared to make a, a spur of the moment a choice of some sort. A choice between the past and the future. And this is leaving the past behind. So you might have to make a choice between two people. And one person, maybe this one person abandoned you and hurt you. And, you know, uh, made chose their job or their money or their ego or whatever over you. And now you have to make a choice between two people. Anyhow, I feel like you will be making a choice this month. Um, Use your gut. Follow your intuition. Good luck.